Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on one of the greatest fighters of all time and a big dog in this fight game. We have Canelo Alvarez, the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, the four division world champion, the current undisputed super middleweight world champion, and the man that's still carrying boxing. Then we have Demetrius Andrade, the two division world champion, the undefeated um, top contender at the super middleweight division at this moment, right? But Canelo Alvarez, let Demetrius Andrade know you heard what he said when he was talking about that you don't want to face no top competition and that he will beat your ass and that you're afraid of him. Laugh at that shit. Laugh at that shit. You dig? Canelo laughing at Demetrius Andrade right now. Understand what I'm saying? Laughing at him. You know how much money I just made my last fight and fight Triple G, boy? Huh? Fighting somebody that you wanted to fight? That you couldn't fight? Quit playing with me, man. Quit playing with me. You just got put on your ass by DeMond Nicholson. DeMond Nicholson. Are you talking about you can fuck with me? Cut it out, man. You can't do nothing with me, bro. Canelo Alvarez will smoke Demetrius Andrade. Smoke Demetrius Andrade. Smoke Demetrius Andrade. You feel me? Put some respect on Canelo's name. He will be back in May. So y'all can see that he ain't nothing to play with, bro. Y'all be getting misconstrued um, when it comes to Canelo. And because, you know, he out the ring at the moment, that when Demetrius Andrade just got into the ring, and respect to him. He, he went up to, super, to the super middleweight division. I respect Demetrius Andrade as a fighter. Let's get that understood first of all, fam. I do respect him. And I do think he won all the smoke. But when you start talking crap about Canelo Alvarez, like you can go in there and you can beat this man, bro. Come on, man. Stop it, bro. Stop it. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little confidence in yourself. You're supposed to. You're supposed to, right? A lot of people felt like you, he should have fought you at 54, right? I wish he would have fought you so he could have put his put them hands on you. Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, I know what he was going to do. But, you know, when you come out here, you say certain things, bro, but you get into the ring and you can't stop DeMond Nicholson, fam. Like, you have a problem, bro. You have a problem. Now, credit. You want the big bag with Canelo. You want your opportunity like 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 Caleb Plant had his opportunity and things of that nature. And I think you deserve the opportunity. I do. I'm not going to say that you didn't deserve an opportunity. I'm going to say you did deserve an opportunity. But Canelo didn't duck you, buddy. Canelo don't duck no smoke, family. I'm going to repeat this again. Canelo don't duck no smoke, family. When you're in position and you top shot in boxing, family, listen, a lot of y'all going to be like, how is he the top? Canelo is the top shot in boxing. Earl Spence told y'all why he's the top shotter. And if you want to know why, go listen to EJ, and he'll tell you why. But when it comes to Canelo Alvarez and it comes to Demetrius Andrade, Canelo was at 160, he fought the top guys. Canelo was at 154, he fought the top guys. Canelo was at 168, he fought the top guys. Canelo was at 175, he fought the top guys. Win, lose, or draw. But y'all like to hate on this dude, bro. Y'all like to hate on him to fit y'all little narrative and to make it look like that Canelo was a duck. But then when I ask y'all, hey, do Canelo got the best resume out of all these dudes? Y'all can't say nothing but yes. Y'all can't say nothing but yes. You feel me? Put some respect on that CA, bro. Put some respect on that capital CA, bro. Canelo is that dude. And I know y'all boys get mad when I talk about Canelo. I know y'all get mad when I talk about Canelo. But the facts are the facts. Now, let me break this down to y'all so y'all can get it real smooth, real simple. Like, Demetrius Andrade is not a better fighter than Caitlin Plant. I'm going to repeat. Demetrius Andrade is not a better fighter than Caleb Plant. You understand what I'm saying? And y'all seen what happened to Caitlin Plant when he got into that ring with Canelo Alvarez. Y'all seen what Canelo Alvarez did to Caitlin Plant. Y'all seen him knock that boy out. Y'all saw it. Y'all saw Caden Plant apologizing at the end when he felt that power of Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, you can box good. You can win you some rounds in there. You know, move left, move right, move back. You know, but you can only do it for so long if you can't hurt Canelo Alvarez. I say you can only do it for so long if you can't hurt Canelo Alvarez. You dig? Because Canelo coming for the ASS. And when he get you, he go get you. When he get you, he go get you. You feel me? Now... Demetrius Andrade coming up to 168 pounds to try to get a Canelo Alvarez fight. I don't have nothing, like, I don't have no problem with it at all. None. Right? 
I still feel like he should have fought Charlo at 160. Charlo should have fought him at 160. They should have did what they had to do to make it happen. Both of them was world champions. It would have been bigger. It would have been bigger. But now it look like him and Charlo is trying to fight at 168. They're trying to put themselves in position for the win of Benavidez and, and, and Caden Plant, which is still a good situation, right? And then after that, the winner might get Canelo Alvarez. We just have to see. We know Canelo coming back. We know Canelo has plans for 2023. You know, he got big plans, you know, and we'll see how that play out. But we also do know that Canelo, you know, almost had to fight with Jamal Charlo before he fought, you know, Dimitri Bivol. You understand? And and we'll see if Jamal Charlo is in a, is in a you know, runners for Canelo in 23. We know Canelo might come back, get a tune-up fight after the hand surgery. Then he want the um, the rematch with Dimitri Bivol. If you go into those two fights, that might be his 2023. So it do might leave the door open for Dimitri Andrade and, and Jamal Charlo to get in there and get their fight on. And then the winner fight David Benavidez and Caden Plant. And then after that, the big fight with Canelo Alvarez in 2024. You feel me? And a lot of people might be mad at that. A lot of people might be mad at that. But you still got to be happy for the big fights. And then 2024, you get Canelo versus either or the winner, and nobody can say nothing. So if David Benavidez is this big-time killer like everybody say he is, then he'll beat Caden Plant, then he'll beat the winner of Demetrius Andrade and Jamal Charlo, and then voila, 2024, Canelo Alvarez, Benavidez. Or it can be Canelo Alvarez, Demetrius Andrade. Or it can be Canelo Alvarez, um, Jamal Charlo. Either way, somebody would have made their name that big and had a spotlight and a buzz on them to when Canelo come that route, oh, yes, it's, it, it, it make a lot of business sense. It make a lot of business sense. Because a lot of y'all go say, well, Canelo's afraid to fight this fighter. He's afraid to fight that fighter. He's afraid to fight this fighter. Hey, he's the undisputed champion, my boys. He's the undisputed champion, my boys. You dig? And his numbers are totally different from all these guys. Totally different. You know? So at the end of the day, as long as Canelo fighting top competition, y'all can't say nothing. He's not pulling no turns, Bud Crawfords out here. I repeat, he's not pulling no turns, Bud Crawfords out here. Watch how I come at my throat for that. You feel me? Watch it. But I just say it like this, bro. Demetrius Andrade is a hell of a fighter. But he got to watch his mouth when he's talking about Canelo Alvarez because you haven't done half of what Canelo done. You really haven't. You haven't done half of what Canelo done, bro. When we talk about this boxing game, you haven't beat the, the caliber opponents that he beat, right? You're not a four-division world champion. Okay, we can say you're a two-division world champion. That's half of what, he, what he's done, right? By you being a two-division world champion, him being a four-division world champion. But you ain't pulling the money that he's pulling in. You don't have the spotlight that he has. You don't have the fan base that he has. So we know that Canelo is that guy. And I think you respect Canelo and what he put in in, in his game. Hopefully you do. Hopefully you do. I believe you do. That's why he told him you got nothing but respect for him, right? And I want somebody like you to get an opportunity. Because when Canelo knock your ass out, <laughs> I said when Canelo knock you out, it's going to look bad. And I think you go quicker than plant. Demetrius Andrade get knocked out in, in seven or eight rounds. Demetrius Andrade get knocked out in seven or eight rounds rocking with Canelo, fam. I'm telling y'all right now. Seven or eight rounds, he go night-night. He go night-night. He can't stand in there, no, 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 11 or 12 with Canelo. Seven or eight rounds, he go night-night because Canelo going to be turning his body up. Demetrius Andrade, he like to lean too forward. He like to lean back too much. You know, he don't like the shots. And, you know, his, his power diminish, and he get a little tired too going down the stretch. And with Canelo landing them body shots on him, he's really going to get tired, bro. And it's not going to be nothing he can do to keep Canelo up off his ass. Nothing. Nothing. You feel me? So when I'm looking at the situation, bro, look, if he work his way to the top and he get the opportunity with Canelo, I think Canelo will give it to him. I think he will. But it's also fights out there that make more money for Canelo Alvarez than Demetrius Andrade, and that's bigger fights. You know, Charlo is one of them. Benavidez is one of them. You got the kid, people talking about David Morrell, which I feel like, um, you know, I feel like David Morrell is – He's still growing his bones, you know, but we'll see if he might get a fight with Demetrius Andrade. There's a lot of things that can happen, bro. A lot of things that can happen. But with Demetrius Andrade come out here, he say things like Canelo is afraid of him and ducking him. You got people out here trying to mimic that shit, and then he go into the fight and get dropped by DeMond Nicholson. Please stop it, man. Please stop it, you know. I'm not going to say you're a horrible fighter, man. Horrible fighter, you know. Horrible fighter. You want payday? You want payday? 
I know that. I won't, I won't do you like that because I think you're a hell of a fighter. But I just think you need to put a little bit more respect on Canelo Alvarez's name and these dudes out here do too. And if you ever get into the ring with Canelo Alvarez, when he knock your ass out, I repeat, when he knock your ass out and you become a highlight reel for Canelo Alvarez and you came on his chessboard, give him his just doing his credit, bro, because you can't fuck with Canelo. You can't fuck with Canelo. And I'm just keeping it real. Hope you get the opportunity. Hope you get the opportunity. But be careful of what you wish for. Because you just might get it. And when that power hits your ass, you go know you fucked up. Period, bro. Shouts out to Nello, man. Canelo can't wait to see you back in the ring in May. Can't wait to see you put on a hell of a performance to shut these clowns up. Shouts out to Demetrius Andrade. Keep grinding, keep shining. And if you get your opportunity, you better try to make the best of it. Because Canelo go, um, yeah, he going to put you on a highlight reel. Just like that. And to the end, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC. Moving everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate? OG Money on Cash App. TreyHounds52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.